Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the FPGA. So I know about them for a while but I was not really sure about the truth so I decided not to talk about it until I knew more. I don't want to give you guys false information that is not true so I always do my research before I make my videos. But today I decided to make a video about it, what I know so far about these Xilinx FPGA cards that have a great potential at mining. Because it has been seen on Bitcoin mining like a while ago, but ASICs became way more efficient and prevented them from further use. So nowadays, images and rumors spread fast, so that's why I decided to discuss them a little bit with you all. But together we could get some more information if we all know a small piece about these FPGA cards. So the guy who tipped me about them a while ago wanted to stay anonymous but wanted to share it with me because he also wanted you guys to be aware of what is possible. So just after my birthday he told me that he was going to visit a company that stated to have found the ultimate mining solution using FPGA. So, he kind of like, oh yeah, sure, I'll go check it out because he owns a 3 megawatt farm and I mean, he runs a 3 megawatt farm. I'm not really sure if he owns it, but so he showed me the picture first of what was on the table and I was like, uh, yeah, sure. And after the meeting, he showed me this clip of its performance. So running 1.9 giga hashes per second on Ethereum on each GPU seemed a little bit overpowered to me. But these FPGAs, also known as the VCU1525s, are used in this 2 GPU mining rig as a test. So I do know that these FPA, FPGAs use four 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM units. It's like a small computer, but my knowledge on these things are a bit out of my league. So I PM bits be tripping about it. He knows a bit more about this kind of hardware than I do, but he also doubted like me about the performance on these, if it's actually true or not, but it was looking really unreal. As I went really deep into GPU mining hash rate calculations, I do know it's mostly about latency and bandwidth for Ethereum, for example. An RX 470, for example, needs about 23 nanoseconds to process a single Ethereum hash. That's like equivalent to 27 mega hashes per second, for example. But FPGAs, in the other hand, are way more efficient due to their insane way of working. On the right, you see what happens when we add a single 30 watt Microsoft designed FPGA board to the server. This single board turbocharges the server, allowing it to recognize the images significantly faster. It gives the server a huge boost for AI tasks. They are fully programmable hardware and software side as well. So turning them into mining machines is possible as done before with Bitcoin, as I said before, Due to high pricing, nobody has even thought about these big cards, so easy except a few smart guys. But make sure not to start buying these FPGAs. They are for sale, but the guy who wrote the program to mine with these will probably not give you that for free at all. It will almost be the same price as the card, I guess. But that's all I know so far, and I just wanted to share this with you guys. So let me know what you think but make sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss out on inf information about these because sooner or later I will probably get more information out of him or get it from one of you guys.